adventures of... Salam alaikum and peace. Thank you for coming back to the channel. <clears throat> Today I'm not doing no riding. I thought I'd do a product review. Uh, and apologies for the lighting. I'm doing this at night. Well, it's pretty much always night. This time of the year in the UK. You wake up in the morning. It's like this. And you come home from work. And it's like this. Pitch black. So, any riding that I'm doing at the moment <clears throat> is usually in the dark. And I thought I'd treat myself and get a new light. So this was my old light, which was a Bontrager Ion 700R. It's done the job. It's been dropped a few times. Still working, uh, but it happens to uh, fall off its mount sometimes. I just thought I might as well treat myself to a new one. So that's what today's unboxing is going to be about. So before we get into it, hit the uh, <clears throat> the beard button down in the bottom left hand corner there. Subscribe to the channel guys and hit the bell notification if you want to get an update. So you're probably all wondering what's in the box bro. Let's find out. This is what I've ordered. This is an exposure Strada RS 1200 lumens light. Let's see what's in the box. So when you order one of these lights, I was expecting it to come in like a cardboard box or something, but it's come in this uh, quite nice hard case. I'm not sure if it should have come in some kind of a sleeve or some kind of packaging, but this is how uh, Sigma Sort Sports sent it out to me. So we can see there, uh, it's the Exposure Light Strada RS 1200 lumens. They do um, a lower one, which is about 900, and they do a 1500 lumens as well. Um, I went for the middle. <clears throat> I don't think I need 1500 lumens, but you know, went for the 1200, take the middle, middle ground. So quite nice, I was quite surprised. I wasn't expecting this hard case. So that'll keep the, uh, the light uh, safe and secure and stop it from getting damaged over summer if it's getting moved around. <clears throat> if I'm transporting the bike, I might probably take it off the bike and uh, whack it in the hard case. All right, let's have a, have a gander and see what you get inside. Ooh, look at that. So there we go, that's the light. It's embossed exposure there, that's quite nice. Wow. Instantly when you pick this up, you can feel it's, uh, it's quite well made, it's quite heavy. And the weight gives it that quality feel, I think. I'm not too worried about how much it weighs on the bike because it's only being used in uh, in winter. So I'm not too worried, the bike weighs a ton anyway. And I'm not riding the uh, tarmac, by the way. So on the back, it's got a display. We have a little charging port with a little flap. I presume that's gonna stop the water getting in. If not, it's going back. We have a button there to turn it on, I guess. So the... Uh, that's upside down. On that side, it's the right way around. Right, front of the light. Seems to have two, two kind of bulbs there. I believe one spreads the light out against the floor. The other one is more of a beam. And I think one flashes in a certain mode while the other one's still uh, sending a beam out onto the road, which is pretty cool. I did notice there was no real mount for aero handlebars. Uh, not for this type of light anyway. Mains charger. That's pretty cool. I guess it needs a, a bit more power to charge, uh, charge this light than uh, your standard USB chargers, which I, I hate. All right, yeah, so plugging into there, we have this little switch. So you can have a switch somewhere near your uh, shifters or somewhere, wherever you feel. And you can turn the light on and off, flick through the different types of modes, as far as I'm aware. Let's 
it has a USB charger. Uh, it's got a specific uh, head on there for, for the light. A couple of stickers. Don't know what I'll do with them. A couple of rubber bands. Not sure what they're for. Maybe for maybe for this. Um, attaching that to your bike somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Might just use a cable tie. And instructions. <clears throat> Don't really use instructions. Here we go. How to mount it. Where's that? I haven't got one of them. What is that? 35 mil handlebar. Mm, maybe that is this. Yeah, yeah, it's that. So you can have 31.8 millimeter handlebar or you whack that in for 35 mil handlebars. Okay, so <clears throat> that's instructions done. Don't need to read them again. Let's see how this uh, unclips. So if that's on your handlebars, okay, you pull it down. All right, and that unclips it. And how do you put it back on then? I guess it's a case of pull that down maybe. Nope. Now there we go. <clears throat> and that's rock solid. That's not going to move. As long as this mount is on your handlebar properly, that light is rock solid, which I like. This old one, when it was on my handlebars, it's just constantly wobbling and the beams going everywhere, which was really annoying. So I might see if I can get like a helmet um, mount and maybe I can clip this on the helmet. Right, let's fire this bad boy up. Exposure Strata Sport. Needs some charge in it. So is that on? That must be on. Wonder how you turn it on. One click. Just gives you the readout. Two clicks. Boom. We're on. Program one. One hour, 16 minutes remaining. Pretty sweet. I now know how much battery life I have left in my lights. Click again. Medium mode. Three hours, 43 remaining. Low, seven hours, 25. That's pretty cool. Come on. What's that? Back to high mode. Double click. Nothing. All right, hold it down. It starts flashing. Four hours, 29 on the flash. Back to high mode. Right, so I don't really want to point this to me, so I'm going to look away. But you can see there the beam is on and it's still flashing away. So one of the bulbs is flashing, the other one is just on. It's unclear what mode that's in high, medium, or maybe you can do medium flash, low. Yeah, I'm not sure whether that's high, medium, or low when it's flashing, but 4 hours 58 with whatever it was, we're at 50, 60%. Happy with that, I think. And that's the light. <clears throat> I'm pretty, uh, pretty impressed and uh, pleased with, uh, with the light, to be honest with you. I mean, who gets excited over a, a torch? <laughs> Me. Road specific beam. So that's it. You didn't get else much in the box, but um, yeah, what else do you want with a uh, a new light? These these things don't come cheap, but I rather have a, a decent light to be seen on the road and blind all the uh, other motorists. Oh, let's give this a go. Let's see what happens.
Right, let's let's fire that up. One click, we're on, 60% charge. Two click, program one. Another click, medium, low, hold it down, flashing, hold it down again, switch off. So we're in program one. And from, well, I better get these instructions, but I believe you can choose different programs to suit your riding style and how long you're going out. So you can have program one, two, and three, and between the three, I think you can have different levels uh, of, of high, medium, and low. So here we go. Let me get focuses on that. Strada RS. Oh, it's charging times. Check that out. So Strada RS. Wow. Six hours to charge the damn thing. Right. Can't be doing no last minute jobs then before a bike ride. Gonna have to get that thing charged overnight. That's a long time. And here we go. We have optimized mode selector, OMS, uh, Strada. So, right. Okay. So you can have uh, seven different modes. Or programs and you can have anything from a high beam that lasts two hours all the way down to 10 hours uh, medium mode six hours to 24 hours Wow and then low um, 12 hours down to uh, SOS whatever that is all right that's pretty cool Uh, <clears throat> I also believe if something goes wrong, let's just say you, you keep this light and it lasts you well over the warranty period, it can um, be sent back for um, you know repairs and things like that, which is something I like. It's British made as well, I believe. Uh, another reason why I purchased this one over some kind of Chinese style one. But yeah, pretty impressed. It's... Uh, Feel substantial. What we might do? Should we weigh the damn thing? Let's weigh it. Let's turn it on. What we got it in here? Ounces. Let's go with grams. That's zeroed. Yeah, perfect. Hundred ninety-nine grams. Told you it was heavy. 199 and just for a comparison something like this a bit more of a normal light 117 so twice the weight but I'm not bothered because I absolutely love it so that's the unboxing guys hope you enjoyed that <clears throat> what I will do I will hook this up to the bike and we'll give it a, 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 a trial and the test run, riding the bike in the different modes, see what it looks like on the road, see what the flash looks like, see if I can annoy any drivers, only joking. And yeah, that's it. So the new light.